the match please and we will go to Eleanor Crooks for the first question. Hi Jack, Eleanor Crooks from PA. Uh, you look like you loved that experience out there. How was it playing your first match on centre? Yeah, it was amazing. I thought the atmosphere was incredible today, you know, playing against such an amazing player like Novak, you know, someone that, you know, we all admire, you know, was a, a great opportunity and experience for me. And uh, I'm glad the way I handle myself today. And uh, like you said, the atmosphere was amazing and uh, I'm very grateful for that. So, so yeah. OK, we'll go to Tony Banks now, please. To Tony Banks now, please. Hi, Jack. Tony Banks from The Mirror. Um, can you describe your sort of feelings as you actually walked out on court alongside him? Yeah, uh, Novak for me is a, a much of an inspiration. You know, he's one of the greatest players of all time and uh, I'm still 19. I've still got a lot to improve on and learn and, uh, you know, I can do that from him. You know, he's a great role model for any young player and uh, I was glad to share the court with him and uh, hopefully in years to come I can play him again. OK. Thank you. We'll go to Simon Briggs now. Hi, Jack. Um, hey. Talk us through the first set because it, it was uh, a question of saving break points. It was, it was uh, I guess, a, a brilliant start from him. And then you came back so strongly. I mean, um, how pleased were you to hold your nerve through a lot of tight games in that first set? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I thought the, the court helped me out at times. I thought he slipped on a few big points. Um, but I was glad I held my nerve on on some of those points. You know, uh, I put I played a good level in the first set. I thought uh, I thought he was, you know, I knew he had more level to come. So and he showed that in the next few sets. Um, but yeah, to to win a set against Novak Djokovic on my Wimbledon debut is something I won't forget. And uh, hopefully, in years to come, I can improve on that. Okay, Raz Mirza now. Hi Jack, uh, Raz Mirza, Sky Sports. Yeah. Uh, Novak was saying you might have to work on uh, your movement uh, a bit to improve your game. Uh, will you take that on board and what else do you think you need to learn to compete with the very best in the game? Yeah, I, I definitely agree with Novak there. You know, my movement definitely needs to improve. I thought the, um, you know, he moved better to, uh, than me today and, uh, you know, that's no wonder, but I've got a lot to improve on physically. Um, which I will do throughout the rest uh, of the year and um, in the next few years I think I'll peak with my physicality age maybe 22 my body has uh, changed a lot over the last few years so it's been quite tough for me um, but I look to improve my serve my forehand I I've got a lot of holes in my game still which can uh, still go a long way so I look to come here in the future and uh, show my improvements. Okay next question we go to Tamani Karayel. Um, hi Jack, to Money Carroll from The Guardian. Uh, okay. Just just wondering, this has obviously been a great um, grass court season for you. So just curious what you take from all of this, all of this experience when you go to, you know, play ITF tournaments and ATP challenges. I think uh, the main thing is the professionalism of these guys, you know, they're, the way they handle themselves, the way they hold themselves day in, day out. I think, uh, you know, as a sports person, I admire that about uh, players. And I think I can learn a lot from that. You know, I'm still young and I've still got a lot to learn. But being in this environment and atmosphere uh, is is great exposure for me. You know, I'm great, very grateful to the All England Club, the LTA, for giving me the opportunity in the wild card this week. Uh, and I was glad that I was able to show some level. But uh, as Novak showed me today, I've still got uh, a lot to improve on. And uh, I'm, I'm glad he did because uh, I've still got lots to come. OK, Martin Herman now. Hi Jack, well, well played today. I just wondered if there was ever a moment there when when you won the first set and the crowd were going crazy. Did you uh, was there ever a point where you sort of your mind started racing and you think you might be onto something a little bit special? I mean, before the match, I tried to. I didn't really think about it too much that I was playing Novak. I wanted to not be overawed. I think uh, I didn't want to give him too much respect. You know, I, I really wanted to go out and win the match today. I wasn't looking to go out and put in a good performance and and lose you know I didn't have that mindset I really wanted to go out and show him my tennis and and play really well uh, unfortunately Novak showed his class in the second third and fourth um, and showed me that I've still got a lot to work on and why he is you know one of the greatest players of all time um, so so yeah lots for me to learn for sure 
Okay, now we'll take a question from RT Nachiapan. Hi, Jack. RT from The Times. Right. Um, I know you've had a bit of a roller coaster year this year with some difficulties in Miami before a comeback at Queen's Club and then taking the first set in this match. Um, how has this affected your mindset going forward and what's going to be your focus for the rest of the year? Uh, yeah, I've had a, quite a few setbacks. I think COVID's been an incredibly difficult time for so many people. Um, for the rest of the year, I just look to stay on court, be healthy and keep on improving because uh, I feel like I can use this momentum and motivation to go forward and uh, like uh, I've learned from so many things today that I can take forward with me and uh, the main thing is for me looking forward to being on court more, competing more, staying healthy and uh, I think I can do some good things. Okay, go to Andy Dillon now. Uh, hi Jack, can you hear me okay? Yep, all good. Uh, hiya. Um, I, I like your confidence when you were talking earlier about, you know, in years to come, you'd like to face him again at Wimbledon. And I, I just wonder, firstly, you know, you've obviously taken a lot away from this this experience against him. Let's say you, you played him next week. Would you give him an even better game, do you think, from what you've you've learned today? I think I'd be more comfortable being on court with him. You know, having an experience like that, especially, you know, on centre court, you know, you, I can't really describe that for the first time going on. So uh, I think maybe if I played next week, I'd be even more comfortable than I was. I felt I didn't feel overawed. I felt like I I was I did a good job of uh, handling myself. Um, but I don't know. You know, Novak's a great player, and I look to, uh, like I said, improve on on uh, today. But um, I'm sure I'll be watching him the next two weeks do some good things also. Were you nervous last night? Did you sleep okay? And were, you, were your legs wobbling a bit as you walked out? It'd be totally understandable if they were. <laughs> I tried to uh, tried to sleep well last night. I didn't get a great night's sleep, but that's understandable. You know, I think, um, you know, I care so much about tennis and um, to be on a centre court Wimbledon opening up against Novak Djokovic is, is no easy thing to think about. But like I said, I, I, I felt like I dealt with the occasion well and uh, I was willing to go out there and, and with a good mindset. And um, yeah, he showed his class today, but like I said, I didn't feel like I was uh, really nervous before the match. Uh, I think it was more excitement and anticipation, you know. Okay, we'll thank take you. In. Thank you. Another question from Eleanor Crooks. What's your schedule now, Jack? And is US Open qualifying, is that a target for you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, I think because of COVID, uh, the the lower level tournaments it's uh, a bit of a roller coaster you know I think it's okay at this level for the players but at the lower levels it's still quite nip and tuck you know you don't really know where you're going or what you're doing because the you know the ranking system has changed so much it's very difficult to climb up the rankings nowadays so until that changes it's always going to be very difficult um, but I think I'll look to get, maybe get out to the states like you said and hopefully play U.S. Open uh, qualifying. Um, but the main thing is to stay healthy and get on court because then I'll give my best uh, myself the best chance of hopefully moving moving up hopefully the rankings moving, this year. Rankings. Okay, Tony Banks. Okay, Tony Banks. Oh, hi Jack. Just a quick one. I noticed um, that from your biography that you were at Chelsea as a youngster, as a footballer, at about eleven years old. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, um, I was there. Yeah, I mean, sorry. I was there. Sorry. I'm just going to say, was there anybody there in your age group? who's still there now and has made it, really? I mean, I don't really remember. I was there for two weeks when I was 11. You know, uh, I was playing tennis at the same time, so the football used to bring me some some injuries that I was off the tennis court for a while with. So I think in the end I decided, you know what, I need to focus more on my tennis now. Um, but, yeah, it was a great experience and they looked after me there for when I was there. Um, I don't think I would have been a good enough football player like I like I am with the tennis, but uh, it was still a great experience for me being around that type of atmosphere. I have a lot of, uh, you know, respect and admiration for, you know, all, all sports people. So, yeah. Okay, we'll take one last question from Simon Briggs. Uh, yeah, hi, Jack. I mean, in, in light of the way that you performed at Queen's and at Wimbledon, you know, is the challenge for you to bring that level when you're playing in nowheresville you know working on your ranking is that is that the next step in a way because if you bring that level then you'll do really well at those events but it's a different scenario isn't it yes it is i mean it's it's very challenging but i feel like my head's in a really good place and i 
I really want to, you know, head up the rankings. And I think it's, you know, like I said, it's been a tough couple of years with injuries, COVID, you know, that stunted a lot of players' progress. Um, but like I said, the main thing is to stay healthy. And if I can do that, I'm, I know I'm good enough to, to climb the rankings. Thank you very much, everybody. That concludes this press conference. Thank you. Cheers, guys.